guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is will and today we are back on my bedroom floor because it's a mood guys it's a mood and today we are going to be talking about whether or not your taste in movies sucks so yeah let's get into it so a little bit of backstory as to why this topic came to me was some time back and also when shang chi came out you know i've been having conversations with people about what they think are good movies and you know whether or not you the movies you like are good or if they're bad and the most notable conversation i had was when we're playing trivia you guys if you want to play trivia please check my description below they play every sunday on the Narutaku Discord server. We're playing trivia and I was in charge of doing movies and I put The Tomorrow War. I really liked that movie. I enjoyed it a lot because it's sci-fi. It's gory, it's violent. I think the, the creatures looked very, very good and it was just a fun time for me. And I remember after that clip played, someone asked like, oh, is that movie good? And I said, it's fun. I enjoyed it. I had a very good time. If you like violence, gore, creature features, you'll like the movie. And then one of my friends was like, oh, it's such a bad movie. And then I was like, I mean, it, a movie doesn't have to be good for you to enjoy it. And I think there is just so much criteria that goes into what academics think a good movie is supposed to be and for me tomorrow war may not be a masterpiece it may not be oscar bait but at the same time i really don't think that that's what the filmmaker was going for when they made that movie they wanted something action-packed something entertaining something out of this world even though it's on it's on earth it's, it's complicated you know they wanted they wanted something fun and horrifying it's not horrifying for me but like for a lot of people that don't indulge in horror it's like a really nice in between you know so i really kind of took offense to that but it's my friend i mean we, we we talk about these things this is you should have friends who you can disagree with and you know yeah that's a conversation for another day but yeah so basically that's why i really wanted to talk about this let me get into the meat of the purpose of this video okay so so i think the first criteria in deciding whether or not your taste in movies suck or whatever is why you watch movies like why do you watch movies do you watch movies to be entertained do you watch movies to escape do you watch movies to be part of the conversation on social media do you watch movies to fit in because there's so many genres of movies and as a horror fan everyone knows that the movies that suffer the most like being called bad movies are horror movies but at the end of the day you, you have to know why you're watching these movies and i think because horror movies have this um stereotype of being called bad movies a lot of these um artsy fartsy directors are coming out to try and make these really 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 slow burner slow which i don't mind a good slow burner i will not lie to you i do enjoy one but for the most part i find slow burn horror movies that don't really have a great climax to be very boring for me and uh, i don't mean to be rude i felt like saint Maud was one of those movies like i did like the ending it, it really added to the thing but for me it was just too slow and didn't even really feel very horary for me i think it was more of like a thriller because you know it just seemed to be surrounded by mental illness so i don't know i don't know same mode for me was a bit mm. yeah it wasn't my favorite i would not watch it again and going off of why you watch movies what do you consider to be most important the most important aspect of the whole filmmaking process to make sure that the movie is 
classified as good like do you want it to have an amazing script my neighbor is back don't you love being in disturbed when you're filming what criteria do you use to determine whether a movie is good or not to you like should it have an amazing script should it be confusing should it have amazing performances from the actors should it have really good music does it have to be a specific genre like there's just way too many elements and there's people yeah that go to school to determine like to learn like what makes a good script what makes a good movie and all those things they learn that shit in uni and you know i feel like that's all well and good but at the same time we shouldn't forget that movies are supposed to make us feel something or it's supposed to or they are supposed to help us connect with the person who's making the film because they want us to feel a certain way they want us to understand something from a certain point of view you know what i mean i feel like if you are just hell-bent on certain things like if a movie is sad then it's good if a movie is happy it's childish and too calm like i feel like you need to expand your horizons you know and i think give people grace to like what they like because for me like i said i don't go into the nitty gritties of the movie like too much obviously i look for a nice pacing I look for a good climax, a nice denouement that wraps up everything at the end, you know, nice for characters. Like, yeah, we all we did literature in school. We know what we are looking for, like what a story is supposed to do. But at the end of the day, when I watch a movie, I want to feel something and I want to understand the director's intention. And I feel like a lot of movies these days pride themselves in being overly complicated really slow burners dialogue heavy when you could really convey emotion through subtle actions i feel like there's this recipe that the oscars has shoved down our throats that you can even tell that this movie is oscar bait you can tell this movie is oscar bait and it's kind of frustrating because i think it puts a lot of people in these pigeon holes where they just can't get out of telling stories that way if they're going to, to be deemed good directors or good writers and it's very frustrating and then now we have the keyboard warriors and our peers who think that they are harvard graduates from filmmaking school who will now come and shit on you for liking what you like which is another it's just so frustrating because why should you make people feel like shit for enjoying something like let's be real like for me i told you in my previous video about the suicide squad i said that i enjoyed suicide squad even though it was badly paced it felt like there were three movies in one and you know cardi levine's performance was not the best which could have been the fault of the direction she received i don't know if there's the you know the character was too big for her she was practically playing two different types of people and i still enjoyed the ride i can't lie i still enjoyed the ride i do not regret watching it and i've watched it a couple of times since it's been out obviously the suicide squad is far much better in quality because the story makes sense it follows the characters properly the characters all play really good foil characters for one another and they have great chemistry all of them it doesn't focus on just one specific character like it doesn't just focus on harley quinn we really felt like we got to know all of them so yeah i guess technically speaking the suicide squad is a good movie but am i not allowed to enjoy suicide squad like guys why must i be crucified why because i i honestly don't like people who make it their entire identity trait which is fine like yeah i talk about movies and shows on my channel all the time but i don't like people who make it their entire identity trait to shit on people's taste 
you know there's this uh channel i watch possessed by horror she likes most of she likes a lot of movies that people don't like horror fans find to be the bad ones like she likes the village i enjoyed the village and people always get so mad at anyone who says that they're a horror fan for liking the village but it is what it is we enjoyed it we didn't mind the twist like it, it had not it, like i was i was like what was the problem like the first time i heard that people hated this movie i was like what what happened what was so bad i had to rewatch it and i'm like it's fine it's fine everything is fine it's not that deep and people will be like you're not a real horror fan if you think the village was a good movie like fam we enjoyed it that's all that matters to us we don't watch horror movies to be critiquing them why would you want to watch people being murdered time and time again just to be thinking whether it's a good or bad movie this should be what is traumatizing we have to enjoy it right <laughs> it's complicated and i feel like people need to stop being so disrespectful calling people dumb calling people basic calling people you know telling people that they're not real fans or they don't know what they're talking about like Guys, at the end of the day, when people make these movies, they want us to enjoy them. They really do. There's movies out there that have really low ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, but they are cult classics, you know, equilibrium. It doesn't even have 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like 40 something. Also, Bad Boys. Yes, the original Bad Boys from the 90s. That movie, it was so fun. We all enjoyed that movie. It doesn't even have 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, but people loved it enough that it got people excited about the sequels that were coming. You know what I'm saying? So even the Fast and Furious movies, let's be real, people enjoy those movies. Why do they enjoy them? Because not every time when people want to watch a movie, they want to think. Sometimes people just want to see fast car, vroom, vroom, hot man, hot woman driving fast car, and it's fine. I don't think we need to poke our noses like to tilt our noses up and be like oh you guys are movies i watch i watch almost every genre of movie on this earth i enjoy war movies i enjoy watching dramas i like watching psychological thrillers i like watching thrillers i like watching historical movies i can watch anything but and I feel like I'm a well-rounded person, but I will never condemn someone. Like, I think, sorry to say, one of my least favorite genres is comedy. I don't know. I'm sorry to say. It's one of my least favorite genres, and it might come as a shock to some of my friends. But like, yeah, that's one of my least favorite genres. Not because I think comedies are dumb. I think there's some really, really good comedies. I enjoy dumb comedy as well, and I enjoy sophisticated humor as well like it's not a big deal i'll watch it i like it but yeah i don't make it my mission to make people feel like shit for watching american pie for the hundredth time like come on like it's never that deep and i also don't like okay i get it it's their job but movie critics movie critics annoy me and there's a reason i don't read critics when critics opinions on movies that i want to watch and i don't even read the critics after i've watched the movie before i recommend it to you guys or i talk about it because i want to tell you how it feels what i think the movie is the movie or show is supposed to be for because in as much as things can be really bad or seem really bad there's going to be someone who will enjoy it you know what i mean and i think critics forget that they are not the demographic for everyone and there are some things that are not made for them because maybe they are straight white men maybe they are above the age of 45. it's just not your demographic and i think i know we're not trying to gender movies or whatever please don't come for me like that but i feel like certain movies are made for certain types of people because they want you to they want to reach a certain audience to tell to convey a story where people can feel like they connect with it feel seen hopefully they feel like these people will understand and enjoy this because they can you know what i'm saying but film critics always take it upon themselves to be like this movie was bad obviously yeah there's some really really bad movie like emoji movie that is just garbage it is what it is but i'm sure there's someone on this earth that has watched emoji movie 600 times it's fine why am i there critiquing 
a story that is supposed to be made for the minds of 13 year olds in my at my big age should i really want them to have some sort of dramatic twist so it, i think people need to calm down because just because I've noticed there's so many people who are like, because it's not for you, it's not your demographic, they automatically think it's bad. And I think that's nonsense. Okay. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm not saying that people shouldn't give their opinions on whether movies are good or bad. Okay. I just don't like the bullying it comes with, the degrading language of like, oh, you're an idiot. Just watch things because you want to watch them. Even though like great critically acclaimed movies are things like schindler's list or manchester by the sea it's like guys can you really watch movies like that over and over again the amount of emotional draining that they have you know not that they are good i can't lie i i did find manchester by the sea very good even though the man is questionable these athletes i don't know but like yeah I just sometimes you just want to relax like for me relaxing is watching a cheesy slasher you know I just want to watch people get torn to shreds and it's fine anyway I'm losing light and also I don't want this video to drag on for any longer than it has to so basically in conclusion watch what you want to watch and if you have an opinion please there's no need to drag down someone else there's no need to try and make it seem like you are more intelligent than someone else because of their tasty movies like we all know that you're just there combing rotten tomatoes reading the reviews you know watching all those youtube channels that literally rip movies to shreds so that you can seem like you're so enlightened and you'll be telling people oh you like this movie you're so dumb like please let people enjoy let people watch the fast move fast and furious franchise movies every day of their life if they want like that's their right it is what it is it's not that deep it's never that deep and also you don't care what other people say about you and your taste you know you are intelligent you are educated even if you are not educated you have a right to like what you like it be what it be okay so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one